Hello, my name is Shane. I'm with the RL Devlin Company. And I'm going to show you how to change a seal on a 1510 pump. All right, we're going to start by loosening this coupler here. And as long as you slide this coupler back and drop this sleeve out of here, that should give you enough room to pull this pump out without having to move the motor. All right, we're going to start by now removing all these bolts. Now, if this pump don't pull out for you, there is the option for um, some push-out bolt holes here that you can use. Okay, so now we got that out. We'll get this. Now we got our impeller here, which is held on by a bolt and a lock washer. We're gonna remove that. Okay, so you can see here this impeller is moving pretty freely. Typically that ain't the case. Um, so you want to try to use some pry bars under here. If um, that don't work, I also use a puller. If you're using a puller, you want to make sure these arms on the puller get close by one of these impeller veins here. Um, this is brass and it will bend. Um, if that does not work, you can also get behind this cover plate and um, pull up on this. If you use the cover plate, there is some bolts on the back that have to be removed first on this bearing assembly. You gotta make sure all these bolts come out if you're pulling the impeller by using the cover plate. Okay, I'll pull the impeller off. Here we got our seal spring. And the rest of our seal is down here. Um, this is our rotating element that I'm gonna remove. We'll get a pry bar underneath here. Got a rubber boot here. This is our carbon piece. And our stationary piece is sitting down here, the ceramic and the cover plate. So I'm gonna remove the cover plate to get to that. I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna remove these four bolts. bearing assembly and then from behind this cover plate you want to tap this seal out of here you can get behind here with a screwdriver and knock it out and this is our stationary uh, part of the seal kit okay now that I got the stationary part out um, you want to clean this area up real good this is an important part um, what this actually does this rubber boot um, makes a seal around here so clean that up with a scraper if you got access to a sandblaster that's great too you can sandblast that out you also have a gasket around here that you want to clean up this area um, to install your new gasket also this brass shaft sleeve if it's got a bunch of grooves in it you want to replace it um, it is a replaceable part if not you can clean it up with some emery cloth and that's an important area to get cleaned as well because this rubber boot is the riding over this shaft which is making another seal. So if that's damaged you want to replace it. If not you can typically clean them up and reuse it. Okay so I got a new seal kit here. Um, it's got our stationary piece, our rotating element and our spring. I'm going to install this. So I got a container of like some soapy water here that I'm going to use around uh, this rubber boot so it goes in nice and easy. Um, they do not want you to use any type of grease or um, oils or anything like that. So I'm going to press this in using a piece of paper towel here. You want to try to keep your fingers off it if possible. Um, if you do get your fingers on it, you can just wipe it down with a clean rag. Um, you just want to make sure it's sitting down in there nice and flush all the way around. Okay, now we got our stationary seal in. I'm going to flip this over, it makes it a little easier to take this bearing assembly and guide it in. I'm going to be careful not to knock that ceramic out when, when you're installing this. Put these bolts back in. Tighten them down. Oh. 
Okay, let me get that tightened. We'll flip this over here. We're gonna install our rotating element. Uh, you wanna notice here, the seal kit's got some notches on it um, that line up with this brass ring. So when installing this, this typically this, this uh, carbon piece is gonna fall out on you. So when doing that, you wanna make sure that these notches are lining up. Otherwise, if they're not lined up, you're gonna uh, break that carbon because it's real brittle. So this is what we call back seat in the seal. So I'll make sure it's pressed down all the way. So the two seal faces are mating. I'm gonna take my spring here. The spring usually typically can only go on one way. It fits tight that way. It's real loose here. Same with the back of the impeller. It fits on that way and not this way. So we got our keyway, we're gonna line this impeller up. Press it down, grab our impeller bolt, tighten that down. Okay, now everything's back in. I thank you for watching, and I hope this was helpful.